The first one is going to be my veiner. Now this veiner I'm going to use around the outside of these swirls here. We added that little bit of shading definition in there. But now I'm going to start just a little bit back from where that outside line fades out here. And I'm going to look at the impression. I am really have this tipped, just barely starting to fade in there. See how we pick up where that top line faded in to, out to? And as I work around here, I'm rotating that tool around, keeping it tipped, so I'm just getting the outside edge there. But by rotating that around, you can see the direction that those lines are pointing. They're kind of pointing back here towards the center of that. That's my little frame of reference that I like to use on that. Come down here, again, just barely getting started as it fades in there. Rotating that tool around. Being consistent on my spacing. And that's, that's what's going to really help to show that look around that outside edge. What kind of natural is consistent spacing on that. If we were really close and then really far away for a couple and then really close together, it would kind of draw your eye away. Well, it would draw your eye right to it, which would take away from the flow of the overall pattern.